Caddis Maximus here. Found this actually at a little donation table at the apartment complex I live at, which is kind of interesting. This is a Google G1, I guess, Android game controller, but it needs like some kind of special box. Couldn't really get it to work. But I noticed there are, it's an old device, but there are no teardown videos, so might as well do one teardown video of a relatively rare product. It seems stuff that's older or or in the earlier days of computing, there just isn't a ton of videos. This is from 2001, and it is indeed a Google G1. 2014. Interesting old product. Anyway, it appears that we have six screws around the periphery. One set of screws under it. Kind of interesting that they, they it uses two AA batteries. And they are in this kind of quick-release battery pack. As far as... You know, anybody really wanting to know, with the batteries in it, this controller is just really heavy, bulky. The D-pad, you got to press pretty hard. Uh, it's really mushy, just not <laughs> my favorite controller. And I guess this holds in... Dishwashers go in there. I guess it uh, holds in relatively okay, but it's not the greatest. Not by a long shot. So anyway, let's get these screws out kind of a shame. I was able to get it to, it's Bluetooth, I was able to get it to pair up, but nothing would actually kind of recognize it. There are no little clippies, it actually just comes right apart, nice and easy. The shell is using ABS, which is like a standard plastic. I mean, it's okay, but it certainly isn't uh, GA6, which is uh, nylon, or PC, which would be polycarbonate. Then we have our control board here. That explains some of the weight. They actually literally have steel weights in it. I guess to make it feel more quality. The problem with a wireless controller is the heavier it is, the more fatiguing it is to hold. This also may be provisions for rumble for motors in there. And I suspect that may be the case because there's a couple unpopulated positions here on each side. So they may have just thrown some weights in there which I think is just a little bit cheese ball. Anyway, three more screws appear to hold on the uh, main board. Got those out. And this all just pops up nice and easy. Pretty simple. So those are just carbon pads. If you ever, if you have one of these and it does work, or you have the little base station for it, any problems with the buttons, just open it up and use a little alcohol very lightly clean the bottom of these because those are just carbon pads that cut across these contacts and also clean up these contacts here. It is pretty engineered the way it all just kind of pops apart like this. There's our linear actuators there. Here's our control sticks. These can just pop off like so. These are part of what makes controllers expensive is these things right here. Springs are pretty stiff on these. They could be a little bit better but it's just a four way with potentiometers on each side and then when you do the click it's just like a mouse wheel where it presses down on a little rod and actually just hits a little button that's off to the side there now as far as getting these two halves apart you just wiggle it a little bit and there's a little plug-in connector here this is a surprisingly integrated uh, product and this is something you'll see quite often on devices that have Bluetooth is the whole Bluetooth module will be or the whole Bluetooth controller will be on its own separate module, kind of like a microchip, and then it'll just be soldered to the board. There's the chip that it uses. Not really a whole lot else going on here. Pretty basic teardown, but uh, kind of wanted to see what was inside. And this little piece of metal right here would be the Bluetooth antenna. Interestingly enough, it looks like this whole plastic assembly was put in with the potentiometer holding it in place and then was soldered which is kind of an interesting way to do it you can't really properly pull it apart uh, unless you really damage something anyway just wanted to do a little tear down because occasionally i like to do uh <laughs> take things apart i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out